are Two Fish, Five Loaves, a Pay What You Can food truck. I am Janelle Reno, and this is my sister, Jackie Grulitsky. Just thought we would uh, start off with a little funny comic. Um, I hopefully you can read it. It's just kind of a modern day take if the miracle of two loaves and five fish happened today. <laughs> Who are we? Uh, we are the co-founders of Kathy's Family Services, a 501c3 nonprofit begun in 2013 after our mom passed away from cancer. My sister and I were devastated, and we realized that we needed a way to keep her legacy alive. We realized the loving and positive life that we grew up with and we knew as our norm wasn't the norm for everybody else. We wanted to find a way to reach people, and so we've come up with two fish and five loaves. Because for us, it's about reaching people through food. We love to cook, we love to eat, and we love to share. And furthering her legacy, it's about feeding people, but it's also about spreading love, encouraging people to succeed. Uh, we didn't see two fish and five loaves as a handout, but we see it as a hand up, because one day it's someone else, and the next day it may be you or I. What is the community need? Right now, Lancaster ranks third in the state for its homeless population, and there are currently 46 million people in the United States living in poverty, with another 49 million living with food insecurity, almost 17 million of those being children. There are services such as Women, Infant, and Children, known as WIC, or SNAP, which most people know as food stamps, but these programs don't offer enough. The average WIC payment is only $46 per month, and the average SNAP benefit is only $133 per month. There are currently 30 food banks in Lancaster County, but not everyone has access. Certain food banks have income or other requirements, and some it's just a location issue. There are limited services available to low-income families, and low-income families have limited access to affordable and nutritious food. In addition, with low nutrition and um, low income, there's a greater risk for depression, cardiovascular disease, and diabetes. So why a food truck? There's a vast need for an access to nutrition and affordable food in Lancaster. And it's our belief that everyone eats if everyone shares. A food truck allows us to reach every part of the county. We can move from one neighborhood where people might be able to pay, and then we can move to another neighborhood where people might not be able to pay, but want and should have access to the same food options. In addition, a food truck doesn't have the um, overhead costs associated with a full restaurant, such as rent, utilities, and taxes. A food truck can go where the people are, so everyone has access to healthy, affordable food. We won't be a brick and mortar restaurant with set hours, so we can create the times that we're accessible to the people who want and need us. How does Two Fish, Five Loaf impact food insecurity? Our Pay What You Can business model offers a suggested price for each menu item. A person can pay the suggested price, pay above the suggested price, below, or nothing at all. Those who pay nothing at all, we just ask that they donate one hour of volunteer time to the truck. The truck gives everyone access to affordable and healthy meals, from a businessman who's grabbing lunch before he heads to a business meeting, to a single mom who doesn't have enough money to eat that week um, because things are tight, to a community activist who wants to support a local business, then also would like to pay a little bit more because they want to also feed the homeless man that they just passed on the street. Two Fish, Five Loaves also unites those who want to help but don't know how with those who need the help. And finally, we provide opportunity for respect and dignity building because you don't need to know who can pay above and who can pay less than. At our truck, everyone is equal and everyone matters. How would the Pay What You Can food truck work? Our total startup cost is $56,325, with 80% of that being the truck itself. We are seeking to receive 50% from investors and 50% from bank financing. We will be self-sustaining our first year with 10% growth in each of the following years. We have a relatively high um, estimated gross margin of 55% based on implementing a large volunteer workforce versus hiring employees. We do want to hire one employee our first year and hope to add an employee our second year. And in addition, our menu will be seasonal based. Um, ingredients, which allows us to have a low production cost versus um, the high selling price. 
Our selling prices will range from $7.50 to $10. We will offer sandwiches, salads, casseroles, and smoothies. Customers who pay the suggested price or above will balance those who pay less or nothing at all. And our projections are based on receiving 70% of the sales price. For instance, if we offer a salad for $8.50, we're expecting that we'll only receive $5.95 um, just based on the variance between those who pay and those who don't. Studies have shown that when using the pay what you can model combined with offering a suggested price, people are more willing to, to pay the actual suggested price. And if their payment is tied to a charitable organization, their likelihood of um, paying that suggested price increases. Our own survey showed that 64% of people are willing to pay $10 to $15 for a soup and salad lunch if they know the portion of their payment is going to help somebody who can't afford to pay. And remember, they're willing to pay $10 to $15 when our menu is actually going to only be $10 or less. That's it. We are very passionate about Two Fish, Five Loaves, and we are passionate about the people of Lancaster. We hope that you found a connection with us and that you will have a connection with our food truck. Thank you.